Hello everyone. I wanted to make a quick video, show everyone some of the things that we can do in Excel with our survey data. So this is my exported survey data. This is the coded version and we're going to need both the coded and the raw form. Uh, first, we're going to look at the descriptive st st statistics. I've already put in the formulas for the mean, minimum, maximum, mode, standard deviation, and the uh, standard error for the mean here. And this is a slightly more complicated formula, so you might want to pause the video and look at that. But basically what we do is we take the standard deviation, B43, divided by the square root of our population size minus 1. So I had 35 participants, so that means I'm going to use 34. Okay, and of course, if anyone ever has any questions, just give me a call or an email. But there we have our descriptive statistics for the first column. Now, you only have to find all of your stats for the first column, and then you can fill, copy the formula over for the rest of the columns. Now, there's lots of ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to try to show you some of the simplest ways. You could go over here to the fill button and well and use that or what I like to do is grab this handlebar here in the bottom right hand corner the fill bar and just drag it across all the way not too far to the end let go and then it's going to populate all the fields with the correct formulas. Now, I'm also going to go in here and take out some of these decimal places because we don't need that many. Okay, and you'll see here that it copies the formula relative to the column. So it's column B, C, D, and so forth. So it's all correct. Now, of course, you won't need all of these numbers for every single question. Some of them are going to be very irrelevant, but it's a lot easier to just go ahead and copy it over for everything and then come back and delete what you don't need later. Now, you can also take all of this information now. I'm going to push Control, Shift, and End to highlight all of my stats there. And then I'm going to insert a chart or a graph. There's many, many hundreds of different kinds of charts, um, graphs and things that you can use. And Excel will just take all the data and put it into charts. And this is where you just want to play around with it, kind of manipulate the data, figure out what do you want to graph, how do you visually want to represent your data. Obviously this is very messy and tight. There's, there's too much information here for sure. Um, so I probably wouldn't want to represent my survey like this, but it's just an, an option. And you know, you can come in and design it however you want. You can change it. Um, you, know, you can look at different kinds of charts. So here's a pie chart. Uh, different things, all kinds of options for you. Excel is a very powerful program. And there's um, pretty much anything that you could imagine, you could find a way of doing it in Excel. So that's the first two things. The descriptive stats, and you see we got all of that in just a couple of minutes, and then using um, those numbers to create bar graphs, charts, etc. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to the raw data. So this has not been coded. <coughs> And we're going to create a pivot chart, or we're going to basically uh, create cross tabs. So I'm, I'm going to come over here. Um, actually, before we do that, I'm going to push Control Shift L and add these filters. I could also come over here and add filters. Uh, this is something that you can do if you just want to kind of get a click glance. You can click on these drop-down boxes, come in here and select what you want to look at. 
So for example, let's say I just want to look at female responses. So now it's going to filter and it's going to show all the answers based on just the females. And we could, uh, you know, bring that down even more. Maybe we want to look at females. Um, let's see. Well, you might have to change up some of your data. Um, the way that SoGo exports is not very Excel friendly. It seems like they kind of want you to, to buy their, uh, their other program. But the basic thing is to keep in mind that you can look at these different things. So we could look at the 21 to 30 range of just females and then look at those answers. So you can filter out all the information depending on how you want to look at it. Then go to insert. Sometimes it's in the data tab and pivot table. It's going to select the range for you. You might want to double check, make sure it's got the right cells. We'll put on a new sheet. Now for this, because of how some of the data is set up, it may not let you do a pivot table initially. So what you may need to do is set up um, some of the questions in a different way such as basically the multiple selects. You're not able to use the multiple selects for this. Um, so what you could do is just bring over the data that you want and use just one column. For now, what I'm going to do is just delete these columns. Um, just kind of get rid of them so I can show you how to do the table. Let's see if that, nope, um, let's see here. So we basically are just going to look at the Likert type scale questions. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, so once you get your pivot table over, then we can create cross tabs. So what we're going to do is we'll pick uh, pick two questions. So I'll select gender, and you're going to put that in rows. You can check mark or you can drag where you want it into the rows. And see now it put, actually I just selected age, but it put the ages and the rows over here or the gender. Then you're going to put another question in the columns. So let's see how likely are you to enroll children in a public school setting. I'm going to take that question and put it in the columns. Uh, it might pull your columns out way too wide, so you might want to pull them back in. If you highlight the whole do document, you can drag all the columns at the same time. Then you want to put your response number in the values. Okay, so what we've got here is two questions. I've got my question number two and ten, and they're cross-tabbing based upon the count. You want to make sure that this, the value field setting, says count and not sum. And here you have your cross tab information. And this is something else that you could insert a table, some type of graph or whatever. So what you're basically looking at is here's the grand total. It means that there's 35 respondents altogether. Uh, 27 of them were female, eight of them were male, and it's got their answers broken down by their gender. So two female, it was not applicable, two male, it was not applicable and so on and so forth. And you can quickly change this up to, to cross-tab any of the questions that you want to look at. Um, how important is community service as a requirement for pre-college education? So you can look at those, how those cross-tabulate. 
and just kind of look at some of the comparing some of the different questions that you find in, interesting. A lot of researchers, uh, the common thing is to take the demographic information such as gender, age range, socioeconomic status, and then compare it to your survey results to see can you find certain trends. Is there a trend between how different genders might answer a different question? So again, uh, we looked at gathering the descriptive statistics we looked at inserting bar graphs, and we looked at creating pivot tables or cross tabs with Excel. So hopefully this helps everyone out just a little bit, and uh, looking forward to seeing everyone's final results. Have a great day, everyone, and God bless.